And now it's time for another St. Louis 7 with today's guest, Howard Balzer. Just had a informative look back on St. Louis football and its many incarnations. Many incarnations, I'll tell you. However long it was, we could have gone even a lot longer. We kind of just scratched the surface, but it was fun. St. Louis 7. Didn't go to high school in St. Louis, but where did you go and what do you remember about it? I went to high school outside Philadelphia, Springfield, Montgomery County, and there was two spring. One thing I remember is there was also a Springfield, Delaware County, and things weren't as digitized or as good with communication then. And so when it snowed and they said Springfield high schools are closed, they didn't they didn't say which ones. People from both stayed home, even if, <laughs> even if one of them might have been been open. The other thing I remember is when our team, our basketball team, played in the playoffs at the Palestra in downtown Philadelphia on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania. Me and about six or seven guys dribbled a basketball about 15, 20 miles to the Palestra on a day where we didn't have school because of snow we were supposed to have a pep rally where we would walk off and start our uh, start our dribbling so that got canceled for some reason our parents still let us dribble to the Palestra and it was slushy and snowy and funny funny stuff went on but a lot of people didn't know we were doing it because we didn't get our day in the sun at the at the pep rally but uh, we talked about that at my high school reunion in October a bunch of the guys were there and they were remembering things about the walk that I had forgotten it was pretty cool do you have a favorite st louis concert or event wow the the st louis event would have to be the nfc championship game when the rams beat tampa bay to go to the super bowl and a quick little background on it that summer it kind of got an inkling that the rams might end up being pretty good because they had gotten they had signed Trent Green, they had traded for Marshall Falk, they had signed Adam Timmerman, they drafted Tory Holt, and it looked like they were going to be an improved team. And there wasn't any real favorite in the NFC because Atlanta had been in the Super Bowl the year before. And so went to Vegas during training camp because the Rams had been about 125 or 150 to 1 just to get to the Super Bowl. And I'm not a big better. I'm not a big better, but I figured, man, if I can get 100 or 150 to 1, I'll bet 100 bucks on the Rams getting to the Super Bowl. And so I went to like five or six sports books. They were already on to the Rams. It was down to about 65 to 1. So guess what? You laid it off? No, I didn't bet it. I didn't bet it. You can win the lottery when it's only 10 million. I, I, I didn't bet it. But you know what the funny thing was? I've often thought if I was sitting in that press box in that crazy game, and knowing that I had $6,500 riding on that, and as close as that game was, it came down to the Ricky Pearl touchdown, I'd have been a total basket case. Where did you have your first slinger? Ooh, first slinger probably was at the Eat Right. Right. Got to be the Eat Right. Yeah, that was the St. Louis Classic. When went, went there, went there and you talk, I know in the podcast we talked, of, talked a little bit about singing and, and all that. Well, we were there around Christmas time at the E Right. And it was, you know, there was not too many people in there, but someone was playing Christmas carols on the little jukebox they had. And a bunch of us that were in our group just started singing there while we were eating our, our great meal at the E Right. When you go to Ted Drew's, what do you order? Usually order, I'm pretty basic. I usually get the chocolate chip cookie dough. You're in your car, you encounter 10 stop signs. How many do you roll? I'm pretty good at stop signs. I mean, it depends on your definition of rolling, but it'll be it's a very, very slight roll because I don't want to take any chance with moving violations. When your friends come into St. Louis to visit, where do you take them? One, I take them to Lombardo's because of all the places that have toasted raviolis, that is number one. So that's, that, that's definitely one of the places that I take friends. And lastly, you're a transplant, but you've been in St. Louis a long time. What makes you proud to be a St. Louisan? Just, just proud to be a St. Louisan for the, the community that it is, that it embraces people, even if you didn't go to high school here. And it's the one thing that struck me when I was here for a very short time of how many, especially athletes, would come to St. Louis from somewhere else and stay here because it's just it's just a great community to to bring up a family in and to you know, like i said have a community involved in charity events and all that so it's, it's just st louis as a whole that has, has always been dear to me good to see you again. good to see you man
That'll wrap.